Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the steering wheel in a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, thanks for joining the channel today. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the factory steering wheel in a C7 Corvette. Those of you that have a 2014 or 2015 steering wheel you know what I'm talking about, you have the round bottom on it. Um, in 2016 they changed it to have the flat bottom and that's what they've gone all the way through till present time. So I've been wanting to have one of these for a while, I like the look of them and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be, my, uh, my wife Jennifer got me this steering wheel for Christmas and I've just been so busy I haven't had a chance to put it on yet but today I finally found the time to be able to do it and so we're going to go ahead and put it on. One of the things that we're going to do, you notice that uh, I bought this one, this one came with a Z06 uh, uh, plate at the bottom. Um, obviously my car's not a Z06, so um, I actually got uh, one that uh, says competition and has the, the uh, Corvette logo on it, so I'll be showing you how to change that piece also. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to disconnect the battery cable and we want to disconnect the negative cable and make sure that we wait about 10 or 15 minutes to allow the system to de-energize so we don't have the airbag going off in our face. We're going to be using two uh, metal rods basically uh, that will allow us to be able to depress the two latches that holds the airbag unit in the steering wheel. So we don't want those, we don't want the airbag going off while we're, while we've got thin metal pieces in our hands that could very well blow up in our face. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the battery, let it de-energize, and then we'll start disassembling the steering wheel and I'll show you step by step on how we do that. So we're going to remove the negative terminal off of the battery. So you're just going to pull this carpet back like this and remove this styrofoam cover that goes over the battery. Looks like so. And then we're just going to remove the, the negative battery cable. And we're going to move it off to the side here so it doesn't, we're going to move it over here like this, move the carpet out of the way so this, isn't, this cable isn't going to come back down and touch the battery. Okay, so here are the two tools and basically all these are as Allen wrenches. Mine happens to have a little bit of a rounded edge on the bottom of them so they're kind of, you can put them in a little bit different angle, but you don't have to have these because, or the rounded edges anyway. Um, you just have to have an Allen wrench that will fit up inside these holes over here. I can show you here without my GoPro turning on me. So there's a hole here on each side of the steering wheel. You're going to push one up inside there like so. And then you're going to come over to the other side. Let me see if I can get the light over here so you can see it. You can see that hole right there. And you're going to push that up in there like so. Okay. Now, once we've got those in there and we've got the battery disconnected, all we have to do is we just have to push those in. All right. And once we push those in, we can pull it out. So we, you're going to push one side in and pull and leave it in, in place. You're going to push the other one in and you're going to pull out. And that's going to allow your airbag to come loose. Okay, so we're going to pull these back out now, get them out of the way. And the airbag should just pop right out, just like so. Okay, so what you're going to be doing, like we said, we're going to remove both of these plugs from the airbag. And all you're going to do is this these little orange clips they just lift up. So you can grab them with your fingernail or if you have to, you can get a small little screwdriver and they just pop up like so. If you can see that one, get my hand out of the way so you can see that it's popped up. And we're gonna do the same thing on this other side. And they can be a little bit ornery, but just so like that. And then at that point, they'll pull right out. And they are color-coded, so you don't have to worry about putting them back in the wrong way. Okay. And then there's a plug-in right up inside here in the steering wheel. This is for the horn, and that just pinches and releases. 
Okay, so now we have, we've got the airbag completely out of the car or out of the steering wheel and we can move it out of the way. So now what we've got left after we've removed the airbag is we've got, we've got two plugs here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this plug here and then this plug here will actually should just slide right through the back side of the steering wheel. So we're just going to pull this little guy out like so. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Pull that out. Just like that. Okay, and that will end up staying part of the steering wheel. The new the new steering wheel plug will plug right into it. So now at this point, we'll have to uh we have to get our torques and we'll undo the torques and get the steering wheel off. What we have to do now is we've got to go ahead and we have to break the uh, the bolt loose. Uh, we're using a T50 Torx, you can see right here. And what I forgot to tell you was is that what, what you want to do before, and then you can do it afterward, it's not a big deal, but before you shut the engine off, you want to basically have the steering wheel all the way to the left. Um, what that's going to do is going to help you be able to break this, the bolt loose um, with your breaker bar because um, they don't use a traditional nut system on the C7. So um, what you're going to do is you'll just go ahead and make sure you got the steering wheel all the way over like so. And then you're going to put in your T50 Torx like so, put it on a breaker bar. And then you're just going to go ahead and lock your lock the steering wheel with your knees so you're not really putting a lot of pressure on the gearbox up front and you're gonna break this bolt free okay so this thing is pretty tough but once you get it fairly loose when i say loose it's like it's still pretty snug but you can get should be able to get it on a ratchet now at that point so after you get it fairly loose you're gonna go ahead and twist it around, put on your ratchet so you're not, not hitting anything or having to use this big monster to, to unratch it. But you can see once I put it back on the ratchet, it's still pretty snug. like so okay and you don't want to lose that now what I'd recommend doing is putting the steering wheel back in the centered position so we have a guide so when we take the steering wheel off we make sure that we get it right back where it belongs so I believe that that is straight yep that's straight okay so then at that point we should be able to remove the steering wheel so now that we've got the, the, all the connections loose, we've pulled the, the bolt out here, and we've got that off to the side. The steering wheel's straight. We should be able to just pull this thing right out, just like so. And there was no prying on this at all. It's not, I didn't hide anything or anything like that. It just came loose exactly like that. And you just be careful and pull these, these cables right through the other side. You'll have to twist them sideways and that releases the, the steering wheel. So that's all there is to that. Okay, so we're gonna take this one, we're gonna set it off to the side, just like that. And now we've got our new one. And like I said, there's the plug-in, just like I showed you in the, let's see if you can see it here. You can see it has the plug-in, just like on the other one right there. Okay, so we're just going to slide these two See if I can get it up there so you can see. I slide those through like so. Just how they come right through the hole here. And then we're just going to push, move the clock spring right where it needs to go. This is all keyed, so it's not really, I mean, even if the string was turned one way or the other, it's really not gonna matter, but it's just, me changing steering wheels all these years on different cars. I've always made sure that my steering wheel is is, uh, uh, is correct. But you can see it's not going to go on any other way. It's keyed to go on right where right where it goes. So we've got that. We've got to get to make sure we don't we don't force that clock spring and break it. 
We're going to be able to push this right through the hole again, just like so. So it's not a matter of forcing it, it'll just go right in. And so you can see that. Let's see if I can get the light up here a little bit better. So it's going to show you that this, this connector came right through the hole, just like the other one did. We're just going to turn around and we're going to put, put this connector back inside. It's just going to go like so. It's going to connect up, snap in place. So then all we have to do is we have to put the, the bolt back on for the shaft to tighten the steering wheel on. We want to make sure that we don't pinch the airbag cables. Keep them out of the way. Okay, and then we'll have to snug that up with our ratchet and our breaker bar and get that all nice and tight. And then we'll be putting uh, our cables back onto the airbag. So I'm just gonna reach down here, grab my grab my T50 socket or T50 Torx, I should say. And then tighten this up. And you might want to, like I said, just hold your knees up there to. Hold the steering wheel. We're gonna snug that down. Just like so. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna plug our horn button in into the steering wheel. Just like so. And then we're gonna plug the two the two plugs in for the airbag. The yellow is gonna go to yellow. It's like so. Trying to show you guys it's a little bit easier when you're sitting in the seat and then blue to blue okay and once you get that in there you have them in then you just push the two orange buttons down and it's connected and then at that point you can just push the horn right in place it's like so we've got the uh the steering wheel installed and so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm just going to take this plastic off like so and she's all nice and new and pretty and the only thing that we're gonna have to do now is we're gonna change our little Z06 piece here uh, with this new this new competition plate here in order to change the this particular piece here on the bottom on this model the the Z06 plate it comes right out not a problem and I noticed that it only has three ears here. And, um, but I did notice on the new one is that it has five ears. You can see that. Okay, and so in order to get this little guy in there, I'm gonna have to lift this silver uh, plate up a little bit to be able to get it in there and then get it underneath without forcing this and possibly breaking these ears off. So what I decided to do is go and take my tools here again and just go ahead and remove the airbag or pull it out just a little bit. So I'm going to put those back into the holes, just like so, and remove the airbag, just like, like we did before in the beginning. Pull our tools out. And we only have to pull it out now just a little bit. <clears throat> Let's get it like so. Then at that point, once we get this out, we can grab the silver, silver part here, the trim, and we can pull it out just a little bit. Okay, and that should allow me to be able to get enough leverage to be able to put this underneath. If we can get that kind of out of the way here, I'll pull this back a little bit here, just like that. And then I can go right here like so. And it'll fit right into the slots. Just like that. Fits in nice and pretty. Then I can press the silver part back in place. Just like that. Push the airbag in. And we're done. And it fits in there nice. We didn't break anything. So it's not, uh, you know, this whole ring, just it'll just pop out. So it's not a big deal. Okay. 
So the only thing we have left to do now at this point is to go put the battery back on. Or I should say put the battery cable back on. So all we're doing now is we pull the carpet back. We just put the cable back on the battery. We're going to tighten it up here. Okay, just like that. Snug that up. Okay. And then we're just going to put our cover back on, like so. And tuck our carpet back down. Just like that. Okay, and we're good to go. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to check all the buttons here, make sure that we've got functionality on all of our buttons. We do. Guys, one more thing. I almost forgot to tell you. The one other thing you're going to need to do when you're done hooking up the battery is you're going to have to re-index your windows. That way your auto, the auto up and the indexing when it closes will actually work on the windows. So in order to do that, you just have your engine running, roll the window all the way down, run it all the way up manually, run it right back down, and then you should be able to use your express auto up and it should go ahead and close just fine. So almost forgot to tell you that. Hopefully you found this video helpful and informative so when you put your steering wheel in your C7, you won't have any issues. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. Thanks for watching, and you have a great night. So guys, we're going to do another contest, and this is for a Corvette Channel t-shirt this time. What I need from you guys is to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me what you'd like to see. Let me know whether or not you're wanting to see us do more runs, to be able to do more car shows, to be able to do certain how-to videos, whatever it may be. But this way, I have an input from you guys on what you guys like to see. We're growing all the time, and it's really cool that we do, but I want to be able to make it not just what I want to show you, but what you guys want to see. So just leave me a comment, let me know what you want to, what you want to see and what you want to know about, and I will do my darndest to be able to do that. And in the process, someone's going to win a t-shirt. So uh, just all I'll need to know in the comment section, or actually you can do it after you win if you'd like. You can tell me what size t-shirt you are and whether it's a male or female. So thanks again for watching, and I really appreciate it. You guys have a great night.